Well, hello there, and I do hope you're all well. This is a hoot. A story MP. Mark Menzies, MP for Flyde, absolutely destroys arrogant Jacob Rees-Mogg for his ridiculous and, quite frankly, insulting Luddite jibe. After being absolutely skewered by Ed Miliband, and he was skewered, wasn't he? Now, clearly, our haunted wardrobe thought he was going to get an easy ride after his ridiculous insult. Oh, no, he didn't. That will help our constituents. It secures our supply, which will ensure that our businesses can continue to operate whatever the weather. This is of such importance, and it is sheer Luddite, Mr Speaker, that opposes it. Well, Benzie, there's nothing Luddite about the people of Lancashire or of Fylde. And I just want to start by saying, Mr Speaker, how disappointed I am that Parliament was not informed about this before the media, that as a local member of Parliament, I was not given the courtesy, despite having requested for two weeks, contacting the Honourable Member to get information via his PPS. I've sent letters, I've sent WhatsApps, nothing back. So, Mr Speaker, can we be crystal clear on one thing? The Prime Minister of the Manchester Hustings, it's a matter for public record, you can find the clip, made it crystal clear, no ifs, no buts, no caveats, that fracking would only take place in the United Kingdom where there was local consent. Crystal clear. So if the Prime Minister is to remain a woman of her word, a woman that we can believe in, which I believe she is, can the Secretary of State outline how that local consent will be given and demonstrated in my constituency of fire? Mr Speaker, the honourable gentleman uh, would have heard my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, in her speech um, on um, energy on the um, 8th of September, saying that we were lifting the moratorium on fracking. So I'm surprised that he feels he wasn't informed, because that has been announced. We obviously want to work with local communities, and it is really important that the companies who seek to extract shale gas come up with packages that make what they're proposing to do welcome to local communities. That is of fundamental importance and is what the Prime Minister has set out. Stephen Flynn, SM. No, I could be wrong, but I get the feeling that our Mark Menzies is in a small margin seat because he didn't look happy, bunny, did he? He wasn't the only one either to give our J-Dog a bumpy ride from his own party either. When I, but when he got up to answer that question, I got the feeling our ghost from Christmas past well, we look like it. Seen a ghost? <laughs> right, I shall leave this video here until the next time. I shall bid you farewell. And this could be the last one for the weekend. So enjoy your weekend. Have fun and take care.